So how does it work to identify a true lover versus a fearful one? Well, it's easy for a 5D mystic in the Enlightenment soul age group. It's a self-empowered woman though, so I need to explain. We also have an episode on how those of us who have secure attachment, so this is when you embody radical acceptance, you don't lose integrity or yourself, and that's because you know this thing called love. So I know love. It has nothing to do with hurting anyone, not physically, not any of it. Now, if you're of a spectrum, that's a whole different story. I'm talking your first year of life. If you didn't get secure attachment, attachment researchers, I learned from the ones who have the data. Okay, so when the herald of change comes about, thanks to my secure attachment, thanks to being an actual empowered, open-hearted woman, Jesus and God, we can thank them too as resources, as people who showed me how to stay pacha. I'm going to share my gut, really good. My ears, really good too. So the one thing that you learn as you move along the journey, uh, an empowered woman, of creating relationships is that everything that comes your way, it's an ally, people, all of it. So I met plenty of Cusco's in my lifetime, and I'm sure I will. Those are all the ones who are fearful lovers. So they think they're loving, but the human suffering love narrative are one-year-olds who don't go home to themselves. They do things like this. Well, my therapist said I was doing a good job. I don't want to do mindfulness or journaling. You know, and there's other experts who say how it's good to torture yourself and re-traumatize. And I'm just being exaggerated right now, but that's what it is when I hear some of those people who have basically conducted years and years and years to prove, in fact, they're the one focused that lived this illusion plane. I, I can spot the 7 of 14 charming, always, not just sometimes, because I use my left and right together. I know where data is. I know exactly where it is. If I have any confusion, I also have the people that I go to. There's very specific numbers of them, and it's because I know they tell me the truth in my face. So they tell me all of it, like I'm woo-woo because I'm a 5D mystic. But again, fearful. The minute that fear begins to, it's like, you know how they say the dog that barks doesn't bite? Well, it's different. For a 5D mystic, with a good gut, it's I'm a 16-year-old, but I'm a grown woman because my 16-year-old already had a good gut. I can thank my adolescent years, the 11 to 14, and then the 14 to the 18 and 19, learned everything I needed to, and then I moved into that second space. So what was it? From my 20 to 25, learned a bunch of things there. Then from my 27 moving forward, now that got really fascinating because I got my clairs. Ah. So let's uh, finish here. Uh, again, you move along the journey. When change comes about with a good gut, everyone's an ally. And anything that comes, you integrate it because integration of the brain means, oh, look, tension. What are you talking about? There's no tension here. There's what is called an emotional plane. My emotions are not facts. My thoughts aren't facts either. I'm dealing with people. I'm not in a movie. I'm actually waking up in the morning. I'm lifting my hands. I'm going to find a job. I going to get work. Okay, so it's very basic aliveness. A real boy, real girl, real day. It's not Pinocchio with the ears and the tails who keeps following the wolf and whoever else and then stays on the island, which is what we see when you do not get home to your true self. So when somebody says, ah, all people are fucked up. I'm just going to say avoid an attachment. Yeah, okay, you keep saying that, but no, it's no fucked up. It's not Luciferian era. No stories. Please stop with the stories. I mean, gosh, just say, I don't want to do it, Maria. I don't want to do childhood trauma work. I don't want to do emotional lifting. I'm afraid. As the, the truth is, I'm afraid of my own self. Ah, now you got it off your chest. I'm afraid of love. This is fearful. So for me, <laughs> the minute somebody gets fearful, I know to spot it. The most fundamental aspect of the spiritual path is to be 100% straight with yourself. Thank you, sad guru. I'm totally straight with myself. And I know everything there is to know about a body because I'm an embodied brain like you are. Okay, so when you do know what love is, what is love, baby? It's not hurt. No physical, none of that. Okay, so I know there's a lot of different opinions about that stuff. We won't talk about it in this episode in the future. But all I'm going to say is the minute I got a hold of attachment system categories, if you have no self-regulation in a mannerism that is where you have gooey, ooey, ooey, you're still on a journey to get back home to your true self. Because your infant, your zero one year old exists within you. Now, if you don't want to believe, I find it hard to believe in attachment trauma. Please scurry off to other people. IHP, we do personal development and self-help. I'm woo-woo lady for a reason, but I respect the academics that I keep learning from. 
I'm just not going to point it out to the people who keep on insisting that humanity is not love. So grace and generosity, they come because of being able to know how to love from my own body. I got lucky. My soul contract has a family that taught me, my mother, how to resonate and how to share. So this universe is not some hand that comes down from the sky in the matrix. There ain't no need for devils and evils and all that conspiracy stuff. Uh, the 4D keeps talking about, my gosh, I didn't think they'd stick through with it. So here's where initiation, let's talk. I'm going to use cards because I have them handy. Here's an authentic self. What she looks like is, I'm Maria. I'm not perfect. I'm flawed. Oh, guess what? When my emotions come up, I know how to handle them. It's not laundry, Zen master. You need to do more mindfulness techniques. You obviously haven't. Rest, rejuvenate. Yep, my ventral vagal state. It's always on, except for when there's earthquakes. Then I get my fear and I leave it alone because I'm not upset at my body. My embodied brain does everything my zero one-year-old needs for it to stay safe. And as I learn to deal with the physical stuff, it's okay. So I can soothe my own nervous system when I'm having panic attacks because I'm not ashamed of them, nor am I frustrated with them. No, my body is doing something and it's keeping me, the human being here, safe. There's no shame button when you have secure attachment as a one-year-old and you're a differentiated three-year-old. So I'm a lover always, which is why love is easy. My mother made it so, and so did my twin. I'm determined. I don't even need a belief system anywhere. I can use determined sciences if I want. This is what brought me here today. <laughs> and there you go. Thank you, Daniel Siegel, for your limitless possibility with the hub. I can use sciences again, mind sight. We don't need a belief. Look, I can see right through you. You know why? My... Nervous system is on my face like it's on yours, and it's here. Thank you, Stephen Porges. So when I get emotional, me, Maria, I'm not too much. Because my mother taught me we're a big web, and we're all different, and different doesn't mean that you're defective, my daughter. No, it just means that everyone's different. Falling angels, those are still angels, and nobody's fallen, and there's no obstacles to actually returning home to your true zero one year old self. It's the beginner's mind, yes. And that's where the future is going. Thank goodness we have people like Daniel Siegel who share meditation and stillness. Every reflective activity is going to have you move into what are the three pillars of the mind, which then actually works to, yes, change the structure of your brain. See, your brain, though, in the first year of life, if you didn't get secure attachment, it's underdeveloped. So you were given a disservice. Now, people want to state that it's changing you. People who don't get attachment, trauma-informed believe. Those who are saying, ew, mindfulness yoga, it makes you a monster versus uh, no. Actually, what happens is it's something different. The prefrontal cortex is worked on. The hippocampus, the corpus callosum, which connects your left and right mode, and the prefrontal hippocampus, ah, the interconnected connectomes, which brings about integration of the brain. Now, what happens, though, to integrate your brain is that there's a process of, I think Daniel said, six to seven weeks or four to five weeks. Well, I forget because that's what I don't learn well, the data. But it was something along the lines of maybe it was six to eight weeks. But the neural receptors, so you're using neuroplasticity. Imagination, that's a neuroplastic agent. You can use the bright sides or the dark sides. And I know we're going to talk about lovers. So love is this. It's where I know if you're afraid of me, you're afraid of secure love. That's it. That's all this is. So I know the minute that somebody begins to pull into different directions because there's what's called the first year of life. And if you didn't get secure attachment, you're a fearful lover. And until you choose not to become aware of your implicit memory in your first three years of life, you're not becoming aware of yourself and you're not going to know why am I running towards unhealthy self-worth people all the time versus healthy self-worth women, men, and days who will give me what I deserve, which is a long-term committed relationship with love, not fear and not hypervigilance and none of that drama, push and pull. This is So long story short, myelin also has to lay down for integration of the brain to keep going. So yoga helps, mindfulness helps for you to get to here. And thank you, Sadhguru, for being out there. So you can move beyond spirituality and the enlightenment soul age group. True love, it's this. It's called your mammalian heritage. There's there are loopholes, yes, but I'm just saying, I am a human in a body. So we do personal development, self-help for you to be yourself. Join us if you want. We're probably going to have another episode. But again, I can spot from a mile away somebody who's closing their heart and somebody who's running, and I will not chase anyone. I actually keep away the ones who don't know healthy boundaries and they want to try. Like, no, dude, what? what are you doing? 
there's a story. Go tune into the other episode. But lovers, it's always nice to love. Be kind and compassionate. Again, we can say no with a ventral vagal tone. It means I respect you, but I don't have to play around.